Hey, welcome back everyone. Toys is here and I'm back yet again with a bit of a different video today. It comes courtesy of my friends over at Bandai. This is the Bandai Tamashi Nations SH Figure Arts Netflix Squid Game figures. And we have two to look at today, but really we have three because one of the sets gives you two figures. First and foremost, the evil PlayStation buttons. The Masked Worker and the Masked Manager. The Manager is the square, the Worker is the circle. And what I like most about these guys is that they're creepy, they're weird, they're all in pink, and they seem to turn on each other at the flip of a switch, right? So that's pretty cool. It makes for some fun photos nonetheless. And then you have the main man himself, the Front Man. And I really like this character. I really liked Squid Game. Can't wait for season two and on the back side you see it's a very articulated figure and you can recreate all those poses like him answering the phone upstairs right if you go ahead and get the third set which is the evil triangle playstation buttons those are the ones that comes with guns and those are kind of uh, army builder but i got some guns for these guys as well we'll check them out not to worry so sit back relax Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Bandai SH Figure Arts Tamashi Nations straight from Squid Game. The masked worker and masked manager, along with the main man himself, front man. And while I got all you players here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Here's everything taken out of the packaging. The two pink figures are going to come with the exact same accessories, and then you got front man front and center, and we'll go ahead and check him out first. Now, he does come with an array of accessories. Like I said, he gets the green telephone. This was the telephone that was upstairs in his office, apartment, whatever you want to say, and he handled all the events of the game, right? Very cool to see. I really like that character. Who will he turn out to be? Maybe a brother of someone, huh? It's a nicely done phone. Very cool. I totally remember this colored phone in a lot of different places growing up, so that's awesome to see. And then you have a bunch of extra hands, which I'll tell you, he comes with uh, probably a lot more hands than you really need, but you can swap these between the evil PlayStation buttons as well. He also comes with a gun. There's not much to it, but it's a gun, he uses a gun, and it's painted nicely. While I do like the details of it, it's a little bit plain. I really wish you could have included a muzzle flash, something like that. And then he has his little cell phone walkie-talkie thing that he uses to communicate. Again, it's nicely done. It's got buttons, it's got the screen. It's just not a whole lot to write home about, right? It's just kind of like, oh, there you go. Those are some accessories for the figure. Front man looks great. He looks really cool. The mask, the jacket, there's Really not a whole lot going on with this figure. It's just kind of a all gray figure. He's got some buckles painted on his shoes. He does not have peg holes. But if you're a fan of Squid Game or you just want like a creepy looking hooded figure, I mean, he does it in spades, right? So you got that going on. The articulation really does work on this figure. Of course, in typical Tamashi Nations fashion, you've got the hood, you got the head. The hood and the head will rotate, but you get a nice rotation out of it. Again, not much going on, but at least the articulation is sound. So you can get him in all the different crazy poses you'd like. And I like how everything kind of form fits back in, right? When you want to finish posing him up, maybe you just want him standing in a neutral position. So it definitely works. Nothing I had to heat up, nothing broke, nothing fell apart, so that's cool to see. He will swivel at the elbow right there, and then your wrists, and I would say, if anything, go easy with the wrists. It's kind of difficult once in a while to kind of peg the wrists when you want to interchange the hands. That's really all I got to say about it. Other than that, not a whole lot going on with the paint, not a whole lot going on with the figure, especially in the ab crunch and the waist, which really doesn't have, as far as I can tell, as far as I can get underneath his robes, right? Not much of a waist, but he does have something in the abs. The legs will go up about that much. The slit in the robes will allow you to kind of kick off to the side if you really want to. I don't know why you'd want to, but he does have nice knees. He will rotate at the knees, which is totally fine. And then the feet, and you got toe articulation as well. So again, if you really want to pose this guy out, He's got more than enough POA to do so, 
but then that's really not the character of front man. You know what I mean? So it's nice that they include it. It looks good. He's very much looking like he walked right out of the show, which is A-OK, number one, important for me. But other than that, it's just the front man. Grab him if you like. But I would tell you, the real fun of these figures is definitely the pink PlayStation button guys, right? Because they're kind of like minions. Yeah, you get to have some fun with them. They will come with a backpack. It's nicely done. I do really wish that somehow it opened, right? So you could put the accessories in there. That would have been kind of cool. It's got a nicely painted zipper. It's got the straps and everything else. But it's just a backpack. They do come with a knife, which is totally cool. I understand the triangles are more of the gun-toting ones. They just come with a knife. That's their only weapon. And then you can swap out between square and circle, as you can clearly see right here, right? And again, it's the same exact figure. You are just simply swapping the face plates. Other than that, that's all we got. So you get these guys, which are basically the grunts. And then if you want to get the triangle button, which are also available, yeah, you can have them as the gun toting baddies. But again, I got some guns with these guys. It totally works. It's cool. So we'll have some fun. Now, these do come with a ton of extra hands. Like I said, different hands than front man, but then you can use these with front man as well if you want. So they all kind of form fit together. You can swap out the backpack too. You can swap out the knife and the gun. You can do whatever you want. That's the beauty of toys, right? So in looking at square here, you're going to see the exact same articulation from square to circle. Keep that in mind. The waist on both figures is very loose for some reason. It doesn't affect the articulation. It's just something that jiggles. So maybe they jiggle in the show. I wasn't aware. Nicely sculpted. Looks great. The belts. The backside with the joints, it doesn't always look the nicest. The articulation is going to be what it is. Either you really want it articulated or you don't. So keep that in mind. But I think that in terms of having some fun with these guys, see in terms of the hood and then you want to pop the face mask off, it's as easy as that. So it simply just goes right back in there. The hood of the figure works with the head. You got the same exact joints, the arms. You get a lot of nice fluid animation rotation out of these guys. So in that sense, I really do like them because in terms of taking funny photos and having fun with these figures, yeah, they can definitely do that. And you've got the elbows. They don't spin at the elbows on these ones. Unlike front man, you got the wrists. You get some nice range of articulation in the midsection and the waist and everything else. Just keep in mind right here with the zipper that goes all the way down, you're going to have to realign that every time. It's not a huge thing, but just something to keep in mind. The belt looks good. It's just a pink figure with some black, right? But the waist, the legs, the legs are interesting. They'll kick all the way out just like that. And like I said, they're not going to always look the best in terms of the articulation, but you sure do get a lot of movement out of these guys. And then you get some double jointed knees, which looks good. Again, they're in like this big pink jumpsuit. So it's kind of fun. They're kind of like moving around a little video game anime character. Ah, it's kind of fun to me. These are fun to pose around and use and make funny photos with because other than that they're evil freaky little playstation buttons that are a bunch of jerks in the show but in terms of showing these off proper so if you want to put the backpack on do it just like you would put on a backpack throw the arms back and then uh, align the backpack as such and they all fit nicely again what's fun in the photography is you could recreate a lot of different scenes from said show not just the nice scenes, but also the deadly scenes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you've got a bucket of weapons or a casket of carnage and all that kind of stuff, yeah, you can definitely have some fun with these. And again, they pose that really nicely. They're very sturdy. Get yourself a flight stand. You can have a running and partying and having fun. So again, sky's the limit in terms of uh, when you want to take some photos. But... Like I said, the triangle guys, they, they seem to have the most fun because you got all the weapons, right? Well, who's to say that square and circle can't also have some fun? So if you get some Valiver's weapons, right, you can definitely equip these guys and do their hands. Yeah, you can definitely hold them. So you have front man who I'm going to tell you again, just kind of stands there. You can have him on his walkie talkie holding his gun. You get the idea. You can put these guys behind him as his army and uh, really have them take care of business right red light green lights 
you get the idea. A bunch of uh, people just lost some money in a big way. Now, these are very much smaller figures in comparison to a lot of other companies, different brands and such. So they will definitely be on the smaller side. So definitely keep that in mind. But again, the photography is fun, right? So if you're interested in using Marvel Legends, McFarlane, NECA, all that different stuff, these are largely going to be their own scale. For those of you who have never had SH Figure Arts, Tomashi Nations, this is just a bit of a heads up. So while Batman 66 might sort of kind of mesh with these, I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, no, it doesn't work in totality. Marvel Legends collectors, if you were trying to think, oh, I'll host a Marvel Legends Squid Game sort of situation, uh, no, those are definitely not going to work for you either. And Turtle fans, NECA Toys... Otherwise, yeah, these are, again, going to be very small. And Michelangelo, he didn't finish your pizza on time. <laughs> then you have Mario. You had one goal, Mario. You were supposed to get all 100 coins. Sorry, you only made it to 99. So, uh, yeah, it's a game over. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand newish, we'll say, Bandai Tamashi Nation's SH Figure Arts Squid Game figures. The evil PlayStation buttons along with the front man. Front man, in all honesty, if you're a big fan of Squid Game, he's totally a fine figure. He's cool. He does the whole Squid Gamey thing. But he's just kind of boring, right? These are on the lower price point, so they're not too detrimental to your wallet. But the evil PlayStation buttons are definitely where it's at. If you want to get one of them, two of them are fun. Three, maybe a crowd but can make for some funny photos. But in either case, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Squid Game. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, if you ever find yourself in a financial situation where it leads to playing red light, green light with a giant art installation doll, you got bigger problems, I'm just going to say. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.